If you want to learn a basic contact stuff move, the conveyor belt or a combination of elbow rolls, stay tuned. Hey there! Today I will break down the conveyor belt move into three simple parts you can train to go to this final movement and a basic contact stuff move. But first, hey, I'm Kai, I run this YouTube channel, I'm a professional juggler. Here you find everything about the flow art with stuff, poi or juggling with clubs, rings and balls. And if this is your topic, you're on the right spot. Click the subscribe button, ring the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming video. And now, let's get started. The conveyor belt can be break down into two main parts. The first are the rolls over our elbows and the second are the rolls over the back of our hands. And both parts can be trained separate and then be fused together to the whole move. And for the beginning we start with the rotations on our backside of the hands. So we have our normal spinning here and we place, in my case, my right uh, hand is the dominant hand, the stuff from the right hand on the backside of our hand. For that we have a slight angle, so a slight upwards handle where we place the stuff inside and for the beginning you can just simply train this with your right hand and when you feel comfortable with it you can train to pass it over to your oh you can train it with your left hand we place it from our right, our right hand on our left hand and then catch it again and when you feel comfortable with this you can train to pass it on to your right hand. So we are going on our left hand and we have a slightly, a, a really gently throw to it. So we give the stuff a slightly upwards momentum. Otherwise it just would fall down in this position and we couldn't grab it right or catch it right with our second hand. So we turn a slightly up move. This was a really big up move so you can see it and then it will go on your other hand at the back side of your hand and will turn around there. So try this to be as comfortable as possible because this is a crucial part of the convert, convert belt and if you like you can train to do it continuously. So this would be really perfect if you nailed it right. And now to the second part, the elbow rolls. The elbow position is pretty much high, so your elbow has the same height as your shoulder and slightly in front of your body and your hand is basically touching your chest or close to your uh, Adam's apple. And this will be this position for both arms. But of course, you start in my case your left arm, then you're going hand, hand, and your right arm. And this can be broken down into two movements. The first movement is to make the elbow roll on your left elbow. So you go in position with your left elbow, grab your stuff into the right hand 
And from the placement, the right hand holds the stuff off center. So here is roughly the center of the stuff. I hold it off center and I place the center off on the tip of my elbow that it can flip around, turn around there. And when the stuff is slightly or, or roughly horizontally, I will extend my arm and catch the stuff with the back side of my hand. And this movement you can train until you are comfortable with it. And that's basically one half of the conveyor belt. Now we are going to the second part, in this case the right hand and the right elbow. Again we grab the stuff slightly off center. We are going to roll it on the back side of our hand and then we have a slightly upwards momentum again but really gently when we place it on our elbow. So basically you roll it at the back side of your hand, you give it a slightly upward throw, catch, catch it on your elbow and then it rolls off of your elbow. And when you do it, it should look like this. Now you should be able to make every single movement of the conveyor belt and now we combine it all together. So we starting with the stuff in our right hand, place it on our left elbow, going through the whole motion and ending with catching it on our, with our left hand on our right elbow, like this. So Left elbow, hands, hands, right elbow, catch. Maybe important to mention is that you have a slightly going away, going to your body with your stuff. So when you place it on your elbow, the stuff is pretty close to your body. And when you switch to the back of your hands, the stuff will be slightly away from your body. And when you pass it on your elbow, on your right elbow, you will bring the stuff closer to your body again. So you have basically bent arms, straight arm, bent arms. So you pushing the plane, the wall plane away from you and then going back to your body. And basically here you have all parts for the conveyor belt, a pretty basic contact stuff move. If you want to learn another contact stuff move, a fishtail, you find here a tutorial about fishtails 
And here you can subscribe to my channel and don't forget to ring the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming video. Bye.